So many hirelings, too. We will mourn them. At least you somehow survived. Remarkable. In reward for your brave actions, I now solemnly declare you pledged of shield and sworn to war. Welcome to our order, soldier. It is a great honor. Now, this artifact you say brought forth in this carol? May I see it? This is the heart of Saibon. Aegon won this centuries ago. It should be locked in our ancient vault. How could it have been stolen from under our noses? This is a nightmare. Travel to Helmgard Keep and Arathal and investigate how this theft occurred. Speak to Gryan Shane, Helmgard's Castellan. Travel to Helmgard Keep in Arathel. Learn how the heart of Cybern was stolen, and by whom. Castellan Gryan Shane will help you. I would have sent Ost on this task. Honor his memory and pledge. Yes? Here to join them.
They were the harbingers of the fall, these children of dust. And they lit the forest with their fires, and then split it with their blades. We crept back, shapeless in the darkness, silent in the trees. The shadows are few in this age of mortals. The light beckons. a favor to ask you. In appearances, perhaps. I'm just an alpha that needs your help. I have a few belongings to sell, and unfortunately, I've done little to endear myself to Aiton's folk. Will you sell them in my stead? The arrangement is simple. I give you an item, and you sell it. I take a cut, you keep the profit and will repeat until I have nothing to sell. Understand? I thought you had the look of a trader about you. I have several items for you to sell. If you prefer, you could just buy them all now from me and sell them later. You... you will? I did not think that I would be as lucky as that. These are my personal effects. You should be able to sell them around town for more than what I charged you. Thank you for your coin, stranger. I will use it to buy passage to Melsenshir, to the war front. Now, I must go.
Welcome to the smithy. Welcome to the clanging hammer. Don't see many new faces in Aiton these days. My forge is open. This is Ratifer's, isn't it? I recognize the work. My father did it. They're pretty tarnished, and I don't really have the time to work them now. But I'll take them off your hands. Here you go. Forge is yours, whenever you need. Back for more smithy work? Or looking to use the forge is yours, whenever you need. <laughs> Stranger to Aiton, I'm the law in this town. Keep the peace and you are welcome to stay. If not, then you had best leave. If you need to trade, visit Banron, our smithy, and Askel deals in alchemy. And there's a general dealer staying at the inn. Hmm? I'll take a look at what you've got. Hmm. They're certainly weathered, but there's something about these daggers. I'll part with a few coins for them. Here you are. Keep the peace. A customer? Hmm. For a minute I thought the damn Freeman had fancied to rob me. Welcome. I offer some alchemical items, if you are interested. I am an alchemist, not a dealer in petty baubles and refuse. Wait a moment. That kerchief. It's woven of Canarok Cosima. Perfect for a solvent cloth. I spoke too soon. Here is coin for the object. I shall buy it at once. Looking for potions? Thank <laughs> you. 
day, traveler. You should speak with Askel if you're here to shop. He won't even let me keep the books anymore after my last mistake. I want to help him, but he won't let me near his ledgers. Well, if you can undo my mistake, perhaps Askel will let me help him again. I sent out several invoices the other day, but I made a slight arithmetic error that might cost us dearly. None of the customers seem to have noticed yet. Can you recollect those invoices discreetly? Oh, thank you. There's five invoices in total. Four went to the townsfolk. The last was to go to the Warsworn Fortress, Helmgard, with a traveling merchant. When you have them all, bring them back to me. Oh, and don't mention this to Askel. Four of them were given out to the townsfolk. The last was to be sent to Helmgard Keep, the Warsworn base, so I gave it to a merchant traveling that way. Nice talking to you. Welcome to the smithy. You there, halt! Don't let me catch you making trouble again. There's a bed if you're stopping over, a tankard if you're thirsty, and a fire to warm by in the Golden Plains Inn.
always open. Strangers strange come to Aiton. Few come by these roads nowadays. A hard gaze falls on Aiton. Many are the burdens and few are the reliefs. Someone must go to Aiton Circle. Someone must call the Erethel. I see you have a ring. Tarnished green and old as Nell has grown. Bought it off old Ratty, did you? The poor drunk dear. I have the coin you seek. From a dowry never taken, for a bride never wed. A circle of the windstones nearby. When the voices from its stones sing a certain melody, the Erethel will come and end our tribulations. Each stone is a voice in the song. When all have sung in their part, the Erethel will appear. But if not, dark things for these dark times will show instead. The stones. I am unworthy. I do not think they will sing to me. You must go. It must be you. Make the stones sing their song. You will? Aiton Circle is to the south of town. Each stone carries a note of the song. In the right order, they form the song as it was to be sung. But they will not suffer a cacophony. If the songs you play will not call the Erethel, it will call darker things for these dark times. Everyone knows the song. It starts on the highest note and descends down the scale. Wait a moment. Perhaps it was start at the lowest note and descend up. Well, something like that anyway. Flutter away. to see old Nell, have you? It's the town you want, not Nell's company. They've shops there and folks for trade. Flutter away.
No, no! Please help, stranger! Madness from the river tainted the grain! Eating grain breeds sickness in the mind. We need help! The river, something in the water, grows into the grain. Oh, the grain's meant to be ah, shipped to Mel Senshia. But can't spread madness. Crenault. Go to Crenault. Strange man. Jenica. Traveled there. Must have done something. Poison river with madness. Aiton. No help. If grain reaches troops. Gah! End up like Denry. Caged. Murderous. Jenica, tainted water, Grenault. We ate the grain and we went mad. The grain, water from the river tainted. Need to find cure before grain reaches troops. Strange man, Jenica, went up river. Must have tainted the river in... Grenault feeds the river. Go there, he must heal. Ah! By the gods, these visions!
Another soul who traverses these forsaken crags. I presume that, unlike me, you are here by choice. Ah, allow me to introduce myself. I am Naim Kent, of the Rathir Kents, an Oathblade of the Honored and Venerable Warsworn Order. I have been tasked with eradicating the beasts that lurk within Talarain, all of them, by myself. A feat that may only take a few decades. I shall be honest with you, I am not one for field work, and my wealth is substantial. If you feel up to the task, I will pay you to kill these beasts for me. Excellent. Finish things quickly, and we shall be up to our elbows and tankards before winter feast. Among these ruins are several kobolds making a nuisance of themselves and it is best to remove them. Rotclaw is a warrior, Blackshriek is among the deadly Nightblade, and King Fang, he is the closest thing the kobolds have to a leader. 
for the fortune I shall pay you, if not for the glory you shall earn. Fear not, you shall find them lurking somewhere around these ruins. Well, perhaps we shall speak later. Welcome. Hey, what's all this? An artifact stolen from the vault. 
and I turned up in Lorca Rain. I see. You'll want to start with the vault itself. I'll dispatch Oathblade Gwyn Anway to guard it. Meet her there when you're ready. The vault lies south through Talarain, on the way to the walls. Head south through Talarain, then look for the small pass into the walls. Oathblade Gwyn Anway will be waiting for you there. Good luck. You might need it. Welcome. <laughs> Brian promised I'd have tar, linen, and whetstones by the month's end. But forgive me. You didn't come to hear the quartermaster rant and moan at her lot. Welcome to Helmgard. You're the one from Brigand Hall. Are they really Niskari?
Stranger, please. I am being hunted by Fair Gorta. The bones of all my forebears mean to kill me. They are the bones of all my fallen family. I am of an ancient line, and the curse it bears is almost as old. When a scathe dies, the magic of the curse raises his bones and forces them to hunt its descendants. Nothing of its life remains, just a hunger for scathe blood. They will not stop until the line is dead, and I fear I am the last. But this curse need not end with my death, if you are willing to help me. I must exile myself from my family. In ancient Alfar tradition, members of the family or clan could be banished forever with the proper ceremony. This stronghold was my family's seat. It contains a solemn bell, the Codex Scathe, and my birth candle. All components for the ritual of banishment I must complete. We should begin. Meet me in Dove Whale, and we shall get underway. The solemn bell is not far from the entrance of Dove Whale. If my research is correct, it should be near the old assembly hall. It has been centuries since it was rung last. It is no ordinary bell, and can only be rung using scathe magic. Let us disturb its slumber.
Hm. to the kobolds. Now on to more fierce fare. Many a beast still needs to be slain, and there is one such beast, a Cruddock, that awaits you outside of Corgan Hold. I have given him the name Smiler. Not that he has the intellect to understand what it means. Smiler lurks near the entrance to Corgan Hold. Killing him will take a bit of ferreting. And be careful, he knows these ruins well. Well, perhaps we shall speak later.
Smiler has fallen. I would raise a glass to the creature's demise, but raising one too many glasses is one reason I was reassigned here to Talarain. Well, you have done your share by ridding the world of him, but there are still beasts that need to be slain. And this particular beast, Kolmir, will not be as easy to kill as the others. Kolmir is an Etin, a war priest who has made camp in Talarain. The Etin are not very intelligent creatures, but they compensate this with their strength. Well, perhaps we shall speak later. Thank <laughs> you. 
customer? Looking for potions? Very well. Good day, Trap. Ah, thank you so much for your help with these. I'll have them reworked and redistributed. In return for your help, please have these. They're sure to be of use. Nice talking to you. Day trap. Askel's letting me help with the business again. Thank you for getting those invoices to me. Nice talking to you. A customer? If you're heading east to the ruins of Talar... Or heading to the war front, I suggest you very well. <laughs> Need a bed? Gordon runs the inn. He can see you to one. Got a few other visitors staying there as well. I heard rumors that Castor had been sent to his maker. I'm just sorry I'm past the age where I could have sent him myself. The bastard's better off dead for what he's been putting us through. Thanks kindly for your work, stranger. Keep the peace.
my father's got the call. You're back. Glad to see you made her out of there alive. We felt the earth shake, and when you hadn't returned. But no matter. Our town is forever in your debt. Please, take this. It's not much, after all you've done, but we would like you to have it. Mitharu Kipyo.